Hello, this is a video for level three students and it's all about the next task that we're starting called legal, ethical and moral considerations. So in this task, you're going to be researching all of the different legal, regulatory, ethical and moral things that might be related to your project. You can see in the notes there, the bullet points, there are several things that you could or maybe should do for this piece of research. We'll find out what the difference between legal, ethical and moral is in just a moment or two, but just first an overview. We need to try and look at what rules or regulations or legal issues might relate to your outcome. That's the first bullet point you can see here. We'll need to try and consider what, what are the implications of these rules on the project? So what does it make us think about? What will it make us do perhaps differently because of those needs to be uh, applying those rules? We're going to consider what are the ethical and moral issues that relate to your project and again how do they or how are they implicated in your project in other words knowing this that and the other means i will have to do xyz and also for some of your projects we'll have to consider the cultural sensitivity issues if there are any uh, for others that for most of you in fact that's going to be a very small uh, consideration because there are no cultural sensitivity issues but we do have to show that we've considered if there are any and identified them if they're present you're going to discuss the social acceptability the sustain sustainability of your chosen resources even though you haven't chosen them yet you don't know what you're building your project out of you'll have a rough idea you can talk a little bit about the possibility of the sustainability issues there, the cultural appropriateness, the health and safety regulations, and so on. This work needs to be a lengthy discussion about the research that you're about to do. It's going to include some stakeholder opinions, their thoughts, your opinions, and really how you're going to use all of this information in your design work. So the task, remember the title of the task, it is what are the considerations? We're not trying to answer any questions here. We're trying to find out what are the questions? What are the legal issues that help me or hinder me in my design? And what are my ethical and moral considerations? Let's just work out what those names, words really mean. Let's look at a definition. Right, here's the legal definition. It is relating to the law down here, relating to the law. And that's pretty obvious. I think we all know that. If your project has any laws that apply to its use or its building and development, that's what you need to research. However, most of you, possibly all of you, don't have any laws that relate to your project. So what do you do? Well, for that instance, maybe there are some regulations, some guidelines that you ought to follow, that you should follow and almost have to follow, but aren't laws. Regulations, guidelines, those are the things that you'll need to think about. We'll go through a quick example in a moment just to get you thinking about your project. So legal, things that are law you must ad adhere to, you must do. Ethical, well, ethical and moral are the next two words, the last two words, and they're actually very, very similar. They are talking about the same sorts of things. So the simplest way to distinguish the difference between ethical and moral issues ethical is often used as it says high, high down here related to the moral principles or the branch of knowledge dealing with these so ethical ethical issues in nursing for example of medicine legally available only on a doctor's prescription it's talking about the ethics of doctors not a great example and doesn't really help us understand what ethics are think about ethics as a set of rules Sometimes they're written rules and sometimes they're unwritten rules, but a set of rules that a group of like-minded people follow. So the example there was nursing and doctors. They have a, a set of ethical rules that they have to adhere to. They're not laws, but they're a code of practice, a way we have to be. Society often also has ethical codes of practice normal expected ways of behaving in and around each other ethics so if it's a, a set of uh, issues that we all collectively agree upon 
often that can be put under the ethical category. And if it's morals, let's take a look at the, whoops, let's take a look there, there we go, at the uh, definition of morals, concerned with the principles of right or wrong behaviour. Your personal attitude towards right or wrong, correct or incorrect, moral. Ethical is the principles of right or wrong behaviour as a collective, as a group. That's generally the difference between the two. Let's go back to the task. All right, so we're going to try and research for your project what the issues are that you can consider and have to consider during the design and build process. The legal rules, the guidelines, the ethical or moral codes of practice, accepted ways of being, what's right, what's wrong. Think about the big picture here, though. Think about the designing of your project. Think about the building of your project. Think about the materials that you might use in your project. And of course, think about the use of your product. How is it going to be used? What's it used for? And what do you need to do in the design work to make it uh, more suitable, let's say, to fit with the rules, to fit with the regulations? Let's just have a quick look at a couple of examples, or rather talk about a couple of examples. A couple of you are designing coffee tables or products very similar to a coffee table. And the first thing you'll say, of course, rightly, is there are no laws about coffee tables. Well, there aren't. There are no laws. There's nothing to say you can't use one, design one, build one. There are also no regulations in terms of whether you can have a coffee table in a certain environment or how big that coffee table has to be. There are guidelines, however, on things like the material that you might build the project out on. Guidelines, morals and ethics in terms of what are, are suitable materials to use for a product of that nature. Try to focus on the legal and regulatory side, first of all. Um, coffee table, you've got nothing. You've got nothing to research, you've got nothing to write about, but you can say that there are no laws or rules that um, govern the use of coffee tables. But there will be some cultural and moral issues. Sorry, not cultural, there will be some ethical and moral issues, possibly some cultural issues. What I don't want you to do is try and separate the laws from the ethics, from the morals. I want you to talk about them and research them all together, all at once. Don't be worried about a heading, ethical considerations, and then try to come up with some. Just write about the general uh, issues that you will have researched. So again, let's use the coffee table example. Uh, what issues could you have to think about here? Uh, the weight of the project is going to have to be moved around, probably not very often, but if it is going to be moved, it needs to be, well, movable. And so there are some regulations, uh, health and safety guidelines, on how heavy a product can be for somebody to move. Research it and comment on that. You're not saying that this is the rule that I must follow, and therefore my coffee table must be no heavier than you're saying, I think I'll need to consider this during the build. And when it's uh, being constructed, I'll give consideration to the weight and attempt to make it suitable for one person to move or suitable for two people if it happens to be heavier than the regulations. We try to identify what the regulatory issues might be or the moral or ethical issues might be and then comment on how we might think about them during the build. Okay. Other ethical and moral, we've got weight. Maybe the choice of material, maybe the style of the product, maybe if there's any emblems or logos or words or so on on the product, they may have some cultural uh, uh, relevance, is the word, cultural relevance. And so the sensitivity of using those on your product, whether it's right or wrong, whether it's morally right or wrong for you to do, or ethically, then you could consider those. It's a difficult piece of work for some of your projects. I appreciate that. It will be longer and easier to do for others. Let's look at one more example, uh, an outdoor product. Maybe it's a garden sculpture. Okay, maybe it's used in a public place. A tall structure that's used in a public place that is supposed to be nice to look at. 
So it's a public place. There are going to be rules and regulations on where it can be positioned, how tall it's likely to be. For example, if it's in a private garden, there will be council rules on how large a sculpture can be in a garden so that it doesn't hinder anybody else, cast a shadow on your neighbor's garden. So look at those regulations. If it's in a more public place, perhaps it could easily be um, touched or climbed upon by a young child. Not, of course, it's designed for that, but it could happen. And so the implications are you would need to make sure it's built safely. That's a moral issue. You're making the decision that although it's not a climbing frame, you're going to design it, and fix it to the ground, perhaps in a way that prevents somebody becoming injured by it. It's not a product designed to injure. It's not a product designed to be used by somebody who could get injured by it. But it could still happen. And so morally and ethically, you're obliged to design it and build it in a way it's not going to cause any harm. As another example. OK, it says again, you should discuss the social acceptability of your projects, the health and safety aspects of your project. I think we've just talked about those a little bit with regards to, for example, people being able to be harmed by your project. The sustainability of the chosen resources. Again, you don't know what you're building your project out of, but you may have some ideas. You may be able to comment on the types of material that perhaps you shouldn't be using. That'll help guide you in the decision making process during the build. See what you can come up with. Some of you will find this very, very difficult for your projects. The important thing is to think about your project, think about the implications, considerations on what you're going to have to think about when you start designing, and try and list what sort of legal, ethical, or moral issues you could research. And then, of course, research them. Once you've got a list, maybe it's a small list, maybe you're struggling to make it into uh, what you feel to be detailed enough, at that point, contact me. Let me know in class or via email what your uh, list is looking like at the moment. I can then give you some ideas if there's anything you can add to it. Highly likely that some of your projects this task will be quite short, but do try and find something that addresses this type of research. And remember what I said at the beginning. We're not trying to find all the answers to the questions here. We're just trying to find out what are the questions? What are we going to have to think about as we go forward into the build phase of the project? OK, that's it for now. Remember to email me if you need any help with this. It's usually about a three lesson piece of work. Generally speaking, on average, a little bit longer for some of you, a lot less for others. That's it for now.